Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ice on ASMR, with Misha and Michael. Hello. We are in the midst of uh, Minecraft here, where we are constructing an addition to our house, which is mostly in a cave, and I think we're going to try to change that. It's a mine cave. Well, there there is a there is a mine down in there, but for mostly it's just a cave. I noticed in the distance that uh, this little area we planted was kind of coming up uh, all sorts of different colors, so I'm going to go check it out. Should I destroy all these things that we planted and see? Well, the, the like, flowers like... the flowers won't give you anything, but if you harvest the wheat there, that's the, uh, that's the sort of brownish green, that will give you... That will give you wheat, and then you can also replant it, because you should be able to pick up some seeds. And with wheat, you can make bread. And my, like, sycamore tree or whatever I planted here. You can also, uh, like, destroy that if you, if you want to. I don't know that there would be much point to that. Oh, got a connection lost. Um... Oh. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, and we're back. Welcome back. All right, I'm I'm replanting more seeds. This is the circle of life. Or the circle of agriculture at least. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to take apart this tree. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If I remember correctly, Taking apart the tree with the wrong tool, so it's taken a while. Do you have an axe? Do you need an axe? I can give you one. I have right. a pickaxe, and that is the same thing as an axe. It's not. You no. You if you're using that, you're wasting your pickaxe. You literally will will go at the same speed if you just punch the tree. I don't even have a clever rejoinder to that, so there. Well then, if you're going to be like that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm kind of curious what this will... What have, whoa. All right, okay. I'm just throwing netherrack around places. I want to... How... So it's flammable. How do you get it to set on fire? I... At one point, I gave you a... Um, Flint and steel. Did you ever? Did you? Do you still have that? Uh, I have died many times since then, but I believe oh, right. I saw some in the uh, storage unit. So yeah, if you get one of those and you right-click on the nether rack, uh, you will be able to light it on fire. Okay, so I see some. Whoa, I see gunpowder. I see flint in here, but I don't see flint and steel. Well, basically, it's just iron. Uh, so get some iron from the, let's see, I don't know which chest that one is in. What does iron look like? Actually, here, I will, I'm, I've got to come here anyway, so I will give you some of mine. Um, okay. There you go. Did I, did I get it? Uh, yeah. Okay, so do I have to craft the flint with the iron ingot? Yes, put them next to each other or diagonal from each other, I believe. There we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay. I want to I wanna try something. Whoa, uh, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Son of a stupid keyboard. <laughs> I'm going to go see what this looks like here. This will probably end up being stupid, but... Uh, I have so little, so just let me, uh... I, I am, I support your experimentation in whatever form it takes. Ah, oh, son of a, okay, I screwed that up. Uh, but that's alright. Okay. Here we go. Now, I, I'm not very good at, there we go. 
<laughs> did it work? It did. Look at that. Oh, very cool. Right in the middle of the water there. Yeah, yeah. I just thought that instead would be of kind a, of um... instead of a floating candle, it's a floating bonfire, which makes it just inherently better. Yeah, and hopefully it will allow us to see better at night. It might. I'm. I wonder about the. I'm not sure how much light that provides. It might. It might be very good. Oh God! This. Why are these sheep drawn to fire? They're like moth sheep. Oh well, it's in the middle. He can't get to it. But look at it. He is just like, man. He's circling it. Like thing. he clearly wants to just. He wants the the, his wool to just burn to a crisp. He wants the the smell of the roasting fibers as it as it licks at his skin and then roasts him alive. He's like uh, Saint Ignatius. There's a Saint Ignatius? Yeah. He, like, is uh, that where the word ignite came from? No, I don't okay. believe so. I could be wrong, but I don't think so, no. But he, he wrote very loving, um, what would the word be? Entreaties? That he wanted to die uh, as a martyr and show others uh, the, uh, why dying as a martyr was awesome. And uh, he has these great epistolaries that are like, please send the lions to rend my flesh and blah, blah, blah. Damn it, I thought I saw shears earlier. I was going to go shear that sheep. And, there are uh, shears. They are in this, they're in this chest. Oh, there they are. Pointed right See, at him. The thing about wanting to die as a martyr is that it requires someone to martyr you, which, I mean, presumably is a, is a wicked act. So you are inviting an act of wickedness upon yourself. It's, I mean, it's upon yourself, but still, you have to, you have to want that. You want, you have, you'll have to want someone else to commit evil uh, in order to achieve it, right? Yeah. Okay. Just I'm so not. I'm not seeing done. where the where the where the problem is with that. Um. I. It seems. Uh. It doesn't seem like a saintly thing to will into existence or to attempt to will into existence. You know what I mean. But the Romans were bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. He, uh, you know, he was already surrounded by these people who were uh, throwing his his uh, his fellow man into the lion den every day. You know, he was just saying, "Yeah, sign me up." Okay, well, I mean, okay, contextually, then I can see how it would be more, um, I, I guess, appropriate. But still, like, if we're talking about, um. I mean, I, I get what you're saying. Essentially, he's saying, send yourself to hell so that I can go to heaven. Right, yeah, yeah, essentially. Yeah. Um, he was not maybe the most uh, compass mentis of the saints. I don't, I don't know what that Latin phrase means, if it is Latin. Um, of, of sound mind, essentially. Ah, uh, well. See, I think, I think that burning... Thing in the water uh, I, that provides quite a bit of light it seems oh yeah it's very nice oh look now we have a roof sheep how did it get up here you are missing out on the roof sheep I I am but I I'm, I think I probably built whatever allowed it to get up there Come here, sheep. Come. There we go. <laughs> and I sheared it. That's so strange. It wasn't even the sheep that I had sheared a little bit earlier, because it wasn't sheared. Unless the sheep wool grows back really quickly. Uh, not usually. I don't believe so. Are you, are you down inside here? Where are you? I'm in the house. There's a sheared sheep in here. It's really cute. 
Oh, that's, yeah, that's the little guy I just sheared. He was on the roof. He's like, he wants to be our buddy now. Hey, little sheep. Oh, wow, you made a little... How do you make the crafting table? What do you put together to make a crafting table? Four wooden planks. Hmm. I think I showed you how to do it once upon a time, but it was, it's it was possible. A while ago. I'm trying to remember what did you, what did we mix with the wool in order to make a dye? Um, let's see. We got the fuchsia dye from. Was it from a flower? Yes, the fuchsia dye came from a flower. The blue dye came from lapis lazuli. Hmm. I have all sorts of crap and no idea what to do with it. Well, start getting creative. I I try getting creative and it just there's nothing that comes out of it. Um there's that <laughs> and there's that. Nope, nothing. Well then oh well if you want to find out how to make stuff. I, I mean, there's really the Minecraft wiki. That's pretty much what it's there for. I wonder... Hmm. Uh, that and that? No. Lily pad? When the hell did I get a lily pad? <laughs> so far, my efforts at creating any color of dyed wool have been an absolute failure. Well, you need you need dye first. It's not gonna. It's probably not gonna work without dye. So you'll you'll create the dye, and then you'll create, and then you'll combine it with the wool. Wait, how, okay, how did I make a dye out of something? Uh, like I said, you, first you, the, for one of them, you uh, got it from a flower. So there's some purple flowers that you just, if you just put it in a crafting area, it oh, becomes. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. So I got a, I got a light blue dye. Um, Well, I, I got a light blue dye. I um, just got to focus on the things that did happen rather than the ones that didn't. It's a good attitude. And done. <laughs> I now have one block of light blue. Uh, look at that, that stupid, this is a new sheep out here trying to get into that fire. At least I assume it's a new they sheep. Just love What's that? They just love it. They can't get enough. Yeah. Uh-oh. Did I lose my shears? What happened to my shears? Oh, no, there they are. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, you put in some glass and... They have like a full on like religious place now. It's well I was just thinking a big house. But whatever purpose you want to use it for. Arise, arise, Cthulhu Fathogan. No. I damn it, I thought I was catching up to you, but oh there you go. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So this is made entirely out of wood, but I just kind of did that out of convenience. We can 
change some of these materials to uh, to another brick or whatever whatever we want. Okay. I think. Let's see. What do I want to do with the floor? I am just bit by bit trying to make this seem a little bit more unholy, I think. Oh, I can't wait to go see what you've done here. I It's nothing much, just more fire and... Uh, just... Okay, just don't get the fire near the house, because it will burn down. Oh, okay, good to know. So when you start building, do you just go kind of for symmetry, or is there any sort of, uh, uh, what are you thinking when you start building a house? Hmm, well, I don't know. I, I'm not really that great of a builder compared to a lot of the Minecrafters out there, so I don't know that I, I mean, I, I just kind of start putting blocks with other blocks and see what shape it turns into and then from and then just kind of go from there uh it's not really a creative process by any means um so i yeah because i'm oh my goodness get the fire get in the water sorry i'm on fire um because i assume <laughs> that uh you know, some people are like, oh, I'm going to go for a Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright sort of feel or whatever, right? And uh, Yeah, there are some amazing builders out there. Yeah. I am also kind of clueless when it comes to these sorts of things. Um, hmm. Well, you said the flowers wouldn't give us anything, but the flowers will give us dye, right? I, I suppose they will. I, I might have been mistaken about the utility of the flowers. Now I don't know if I can believe anything you told me. <laughs> Everything is a lie. <laughs> what if we're all just robots, man? <laughs> Come on. There we go. See, this is me having conversations with inanimate objects. That's what it mostly oh, yes. boils down to, me just arguing with reality. Like, really? You're going to do that? <laughs> who, who tends to win those arguments? Um, since I'm the only sentient being who's part of it, I declare myself winner most of the times. That sounds like a fair declaration. Mm. Can I set this on fire? <laughs> Actually, I've learned from experience that's probably not the best question to get an answer to. Um, oh yeah, there we go. We are rolling in the die now. I have an awful lot of this light blue dye. And I think I had one already before. Oh, that's right. I made some uh, light blue wool out of it. Oh, now I've got some... Okay, so I've got some magenta dye. Um, Azure blue it. Oh, that gives me light gray dye. This is... Kind of tedious, but that's all right. Oh, I, that doesn't even appear to be a dye. I just have something called rose red. Um, that doesn't sound familiar. Are you sure you didn't, it's not a dye that you got from the roses? Well, I, 
it it is, but it doesn't say die after it. Oh well, that it it might still be anyway. It just didn't. Hmm. I mean, rose red dye. That I mean, that sounds fine, I guess. But yeah, the, I mean, the other ones all say die at the end of them, so that's why I'm assuming that it would say die if it were a die, but perhaps not. You have collected Nurn Root. What did you get now? You're getting all these strange things. Now, <laughs> Nurn Root is uh, from... Um, um, Elder Scrolls. I'm just being oh. silly there. Oh, right. Um, no crap. I want, okay, I want to throw these things away. There we go. Okay, throw that away. All right. Now, now I can get this stuff. There we go. You and your hunched over walking around things. You kind of look like a crazy old man. Like, those kids aren't going to get on my property. Okay. <laughs> uh, which, uh, which chest should I put dyes and things like that in? I think we already have some in this chest over here. So if you want to group them together... Uh, well, we've just got some lapis lazuli in there. Okay. Put my rose red and my light blue dye. Oh, and I'll put the wool that I've made in there. Um, I'll put the blue carpet. This will just be kind of coloration stuff. And there's magenta dye. I'm still really baffled by that rose red because... It just says rose red. That's weird to me. Oh, now it's raining. Mm, oh, I like the nice. rain. Now, see, it's a good thing you didn't build this entire house out of sugar. It would be melting right now. That's true. Gotta be careful with those uh, gingerbread houses. Yeah. In more ways than one. That, uh, that sounded kind of unintentionally dirty. I don't know what was going on there. Is that you or an animal over there? I'm inside the house. Okay. Oh, it's a uh, it's a rabbit. I cannot shear a rabbit. No, you cannot. There is a way to get the rabbit's skin. Maybe by killing it. I'm I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I I know you have to kill it, but um, I don't know how it, like if it just drops or if you have to do something with the corpse or or what. Well, now I am looking like an idiot trying to chase down these rabbits and failing miserably. Uh, okay. Let's see, what did I get? Um, I got raw chicken from a chicken. I don't see anything that I got from the rabbit. I got a feather, I guess, from the chicken. I got a lot of stuff from the chicken, but rabbit not not giving up the goods very easily there.
I'm glad that this rain isn't putting out my hellish fires. Yeah, I noticed that. They, uh, maintain themselves through the, um, the dark power of... What did yeah. you... Who were you praying to earlier? Was it Cthulhu? Yeah. Through our hellish overlords, uh, we right. are granted. <laughs> I think we should put our beds in the loft. What do you think? That sounds reasonable. Put nether... Oh, there we go. For some reason it wasn't... I'm trying to... Damn it. I'm trying to build a ladder underneath myself. How... Why is that way more difficult than I think it should be? Uh, what are you... What surface are you trying to place the ladder on? Um, I have a nether brick, and I'm trying to... Oh, oh, I see. I have to jump, huh? Am I going to take a lot of falling damage in safe mode? <laughs> uh, I don't think peaceful mode changes how much damage you take. So, but if I die here, then my stuff will just be scattered around, right? Yes, but I... I what is this tower supposed to be for? <laughs> Hold on, I'll show you. Are you watching? <laughs> I'm watching, but I don't want... Ah! Oh, so we can... And you're alive, so we can find our house again. Is that is that what it's for? Um, or is it meant to be phallic? Well, uh, no, I was going for uh, more satanic. <laughs> oh, okay. Just a giant hell light blazing in the night. That yeah, that okay. That sounds good. Uh, yeah, I'm really just going at this from kind of the pyromaniac point of view at this point. You and the sheep. Yeah. We are drawn to it. We cannot we cannot deny its mystic powers. <laughs> I think I think that screams out this is where the masons live or something like that, right? I mean I don't recall them building many uh enormous singular pillars like that, uh, so I'm not sure. Just in the sense of, like, the secret rulers, you know? Maybe they wouldn't draw that much attention to themselves. Yeah, they tend not to. We kind of look like maybe we're getting ready for an island rave or something. I, I wouldn't be opposed to that. How are we doing on time for this episode? Uh, we have about five minutes left. Okay, let's see. We haven't had too much in the way of uh, riveting conversation. I've been I've been pretty focused on building this house. Yep, yeah, and I've been focused on lighting fires. We all have our calling. <laughs> this is possibly true. Oh, I see. You can hold down on the uh, jump button to get out of deep water, huh? To swim? Yes. I am... 
this is this is just not this is this is stupid i'm it looked as if there might have been like a secret little cave behind this water here and now there is but it's because i've dug it oh so. i see well sometimes there are secret caves and you just happen to not find one this time I'm like, oh, I was right, secret cave, and then I realized these are all blocks that I have dug. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think this is a good time to call out to listeners, is there anything that you would like to see us do? Uh, yes, please tell us. Would you prefer we work on the house more? Would you prefer we explore our cave more? Uh, we could explore the topside world more, we haven't done much of that. I say we just dance in the rain. Dance, dance in the rain. Yeah. Really does look like Slayer should be coming on at any moment, right? Because of the fire or? Yes. The pillar? The... Right, both of those, yeah. There's my Christmas card right there. Merry Christmas. Does this house remind you of anything? <laughs> You're the one who thinks it's phallic. Your mind's in the gutter. I guess it is. My bad. I don't know what kind of experiences you've had that something on fire. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about it. <laughs> Either really good or really bad. That's got to be the answer there. Yeah, this is making a smoky fire here because the rain, I assume, is adding, is causing it to be all smoky. It's exciting. Oh, did you plant these flowers, or did they just happen to grow? I, I planted them. Oh, okay. I have to hold my click because I see flowers, and I'm like, ooh, die in the making. <laughs> now, now, the flowers are not a renewable resource, so we just have to uh, consider our interests when, when harvesting them for dye. Okay. However, the world is, in, is infinite, so we can also take that into consideration. I thought you'd said the world wasn't infinite. It's effectively infinite. Mm. Just like Earth used to be for humanity. This sounds like a, the potential for a much longer conversation. <laughs> I propose that we turn one of these uh, side wings into a library. All right. Perhaps we should work on that the next time we uh, sounds ne good. The to next me. time we yeah. play. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I. Um, that's the thing. Um, even even uh, if people vote on it, it'll be a few times in between when we see votes and uh, when we're next playing. So. Uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta actually decide on something for ourselves. So yeah, next time, library building. Right. And whenever you happen to be watching these, uh, we, we may still be playing, so, so go ahead and feel free to suggest whatever. We, we may be playing until the world ends, since it is effectively infinite. <laughs> exactly, right. All right, so, uh, so yeah, you wanna, you wanna give a little 
shout out, a little wrap wrap up here? Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what to say except for uh, thank you for joining us and I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. And we are.